channel this is Tier, and I'm back with another video so today I'm going to do the September 2018 unboxing of the Charm. it's $21 a month and you get about the six full-size products and that's good because usually other subscription boxes that I've, well, I've had birch box ones but I was paying $10 a month and I was getting little sample sizes which I didn't really like so I canceled it and I found out about BoxyCharm and I thought that was pretty cool to get the full size products and it's only $21 a month. So now they have this new box where it's called the Boxy Deluxe. It's like a bigger box and you get like 11 full size products which is an extra $28.99 a month. I tried to sign up for it I was upset because the website was I guess crashing and not loading so I didn't get a chance to sign up but I'll be signing up in December because it's an every three months thing for the Boxy Deluxe box. So well, today I'm going to show you the September 2018 unboxing and this is what it looks like inside. It comes with a little card Ooh, here. And this card just has all the information about what's in the box. And this is what we got so far. Oh shoot. Okay. So I did do my base of my face so that I can show you um, what we got in here and I'm going to try it on all on so first thing that I see the Laura Gela this is a blush looks like that and this retails for in the car it retails for $28 so you already get your money's worth right there the box is $21 a month and this blush by itself is worth $28 so it's the Laura Gala Baked Blush and Brighten um so yeah I'm gonna try this on this is in the color Tropic Hues so I'm just gonna take a little blush brush and just put that on oh it's got a lot of kickback so be careful with that so I'm gonna just it looks to have like some it has shimmers and it's like it's like marbled so I guess that's what happens when it's baked it's pretty though so, so far I actually like the blush so that's good so the next product in here are eyeshadow brushes. Let me pull them out. And this is from the company Alamar. So let's see. From Alamar, Alamar Cosmetics Ojitos Brush Set. And this set is um, $18. So yeah, it's made with 100% synthetic fibers. And they're soft and durable, it says. So this is what they look like. So you have like a, a crease brush here then you have like one of these is maybe you could use this under on your waterline and pack in some color and then this is just like a flat shadow brush you can use this to um carve out your brows or to do a cut crease or even just to put shadow on so that's pretty cool so we're going to see how these work today they are soft too the next thing is this Butter London Glaze Lustrous Liner. Just a liquid eyeliner. This retails for $19. And it says to de define and shine with glazing and lustrous liner. A soft metallic loanwear liquid liner that glides on with effortless precision. Crafted with a liquid luster complex. So let's see. Is there any? Got some luster. Oh. It also has like glitter specks in it, let's see. Kind of, yeah, it kind of has like a glittery, like not too much glitter though. It's still like black, but if you can see, it's kind of like shiny, but it's not like a shiny black. It's like a glittery, sheeny black. That's cool though. We'll see how that works out today too. The next thing is this. Hank and Henry liquid lipstick in the color is Petal Pusher. So this is a matte 
lip matte lipstick. So let's see. This retails for $17 and it's a liquid lipstick. So ew, it stinks. Ew. That smells really bad. I don't like the smell of this at all. The color is okay, it's a nice fall color. That's pretty. It's a pretty color, but it stinks. I don't know if I even want to put that on my lips. The next thing we have is the Nightingale by Pretty Vulgar Eyeshadow Palette. It looks like that. So it looks like a bunch of cool tone colors. I'm not really a cool tone girl, like one tone shadows, but we'll see. We'll see how it works. So this retails for $35 and it's um, the Nightingale Smoky Eyeshadow Palette by Pretty Vulgar. And Pretty Vulgar has been in Bossy Charm, previous Bossy Charms. And they're actually a really good company and they are sold in Sephora. So it's made up of 12 highly pigmented shades. The Nightingale Palette is sure to help you create the best looks. So let's see. So I'm going to take this palette and I'm going to use the... Um, the brushes and we're gonna see what we come up with. I'm gonna take this. They don't have any like names on them, but I guess I'm just gonna call it a, a crease brush by Alamar. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take the color called Hide and Seek, and it's this color right here. And I'm just gonna put that and work that into my crease. Now the shadow seems to be blending quite nicely, so that's good. But now I'm going to take the color Flip Out, and I'm going to put that right underneath the, the um, transition color. So this color Flip Out. Oh shoot, sorry. This color. And I'm going to just keep that right on the edge and under that that first color. This color is kind of... Mm. I guess, let me try another brush. I'm going to take this Morphe M441 brush and see if that works better. Because that brush is kind of too fluffy for um, what I was trying to do. Okay, yeah. This works a little better with this shadow. And that blended really well. To deepen that, I'm going to take the color Swoop and I'm going to use this M574 brush by Morphe. I'm going to use this color right here called Swoop. And I'm going to keep that on the outer part just to give my eyes a definition just pat that on there pack that in there then i'll start blending out that looks good so now i'm going to take olimar the flash the flat eyeshadow brush i'm going to use that and i'm going to take this color called clutch right here. I'm just going to put that on my lid. And oh, that's pretty. So now I'm going to take in my um the the previous color the swoop color and then just blend out that that line right there. So that the the lid color and those um colors on the ends of my so now I'm going to take the Olimar, Olimar the flat um, brush and I'm going to take the color swoop and I'm going to put it right on my lash line as close as I can to it. Just pack that in. And now I'm going to take this Sigma E32 brush and I'm going to take 
hide and seek and I'm going to kind of snug that bottom um, line out. Looks good. So now I'm gonna take the Butter London liquid liner and I'm just gonna do like a little slight wing. Now if I'm looking here, I can't really tell that there's glitter in the liner. Not as pigmented as I would like. So I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and I'm gonna go over it with another layer. But yeah. So while that's drying, I'm gonna go into this lipstick by Hank Henry. And I'm gonna take a color similar to this in the lip liner. I'm gonna take this, it's called by Jante Bleu. It is in the color 943 Brown Sugar. Just a little a lip liner. I'm gonna line my lips. I actually got this lip liner in a previous boxy charm. I don't remember what month, but yeah, I know it's definitely from boxy charm. And I like boxy charm because it gives you a chance to grow your. Um, it gives you a chance to grow your makeup collection and your beauty collection and try new products without paying full price for all of them. You know it. It gives you a chance to look at new brands, and I think that's awesome. Especially for twenty-one dollars a month, it's not that bad. Sometimes they're hit or miss. Like you're not gonna like everything in the box, but it's good to experience new products. Like I said, without having to pay full price, and you get to discover new brands like this brand I never even heard of, Hank and Henry. So we'll see if I like the formula. I don't like the smell though. Of this, I don't like the smell. But we'll see. Ooh, it stinks so bad, I don't even want to put it on my lips. Mm. I like this dope, but applicator. I like that. The formula itself is nice and comfortable. It's not like drying or tightening. It actually feels good on the lips. I like this formula, but I don't like the smell of it. The smell of this stinks like really bad. The color is nice though, it's good. So let me try to do one more layer of this liquid liner. Not too bad. I wouldn't personally buy this product, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna go and finish my other eye and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I finished the other eye and now I'm going to go in with some lashes. And this didn't come in the box of charm, I just wanted to mention them because I really like them. I got these from Walmart and they are the Salon Perfect Go Glam Multi Pack. Comes with five pair of lashes and this is in the style 614. I think I paid like $9 for this and I really like them and the, the, the um, band is a thin band so they're easy to apply. So I'm just going to apply those. Now I put mascara on already. Oh yeah, these look so pretty. lashes on. I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm going to use this, the flat um, eyeshadow brush. And I'm going to take the color Break Free, which is this white one right here. And I'm going to pop that into the inner corners of my eyes. Okay. This look came out pretty good. So let's recap. So, we have the Nightingale Pretty Vulgar Palette. Now this I liked. It was nice. The only thing is the colors are cool tone and I'm really not a cool tone girl. I like warm, um, warm tone colors on my eyes. But 
you can do a really nice like this smoky eye came out really nice so you can do a really nice smoky eye you can do a, the brown smoky eye you can do a black smoky eye there's a black color in there there's also like this gray here so you can do um three different types of smoky eyes with these you have your shimmers the shimmers are really nice this one is really nice this is one i use this one is a oh has a white face so it's like it's it goes on white so it doesn't go on like glittery but they 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 are really nice colors they blend well i mean i would get it if you like cool tones and like i said this retails for um let's see. it retails for 35 dollars and um you pay what 21 dollars for the um the box the boxy charm and this is steel so why not so the blush i really liked by l'oreal this is so pretty oh my goodness i love it and look how that goes on really nicely and it has like a little sheen over it so like if i could just put the blush on instead of having to put the blush and highlighter on i don't want to be too you know glowy but some people like that but i like that this has the sheen in it so i really like this and i like the color on my skin the blush goes for 28 dollars the brushes are nice. They're nice and soft. You can actually use this one to put highlight on. It's so soft and long. This one is nice. It was real comfortable under my eyes, um, on my eye line. And this one is nice just to grab, you know. It actually put that lid color on really nicely. And this is nice and you, could, you can carve out your brows with it too if you'd like. So these are really nice brushes you know and getting the boxy charm and you can get brushes because i've gotten brushes in other boxy charms too and it's a good way to up your brush game because brushes are expensive this is this retails for 18 dollars the um the set now this i love this matte it's a comfortable matte i like the formula of it the color i'm not really a berry girl but this actually looks good i think it looks really good on me and but i just don't like the smell of this the smell sucks but it's kind of it was good. Let's see if it's um. Uh, nope, it transfers, but it's still comfortable on. So this formula is really good. Hank and Henry, the formula is good. It just stinks. So yeah, this Butter London. I don't really like this. I don't really care for liquid liners like this. I prefer a pen, like one of these types of liquid liners. Or gel liner. I don't like these types. It did the job, but these types of liquid liners I found in these types of bottles um, irritate my eyes. So um, by the time I take them off after I've worn makeup for a whole day, my eyes are swelled up and, and puffy. And I think I'm allergic to something in liquid liner. So I do not recommend this if you have that same issue. But yeah i don't really like that so that retails for 19 dollars. so yeah i'll see how it uh it goes by the end of the night so hopefully it doesn't but yeah everything else was nice so like i really like it and i'll put like a link below so that you can um look at the two boxy charm so that completes this look and I hope that you like this video and I hope that I shed some insight on a new subscription box that you would be able to try out and I think it's a steal so you all should look into it. So thank you for watching.